everybody, it's Jane from Earth Care Farm and we're here in mid-April and this is when I like to start cleaning up my perennial crops and um, I'll show you why. Most people tend to clean them up in the, in the fall, right after they've gone by and turned brown. But uh, I found some things today I want to show you that really explain why we wait to do that. So I've got my chives here that are beautiful coming up green. I've just kept them weeded and, and kind of raked out the old um, browns. This is oregano and I've just started cutting back the oregano so that when the green, first the fresh green starts coming up, it has room and we're not kind of competing with those stalks. This is Birdie, she's our new farm dog, just a little pup. And then I got over to this lemon balm, which I started doing the same thing. I got part way down and I noticed this. This is the reason why we wait until now to cut things back. I'd actually even like to wait a little bit longer. This is a praying mantis egg sac, and it's just kind of a jewel to find in the garden. I actually found five of them in here. And inside here, there's about 200 little baby praying mantis, and they're not gonna hatch until June. And praying mantis are, I kind of, they're akin to the lion of the insect world here. Um, they really are just a powerhouse of eating other insects. I've seen them eat moths and even earthworms, um, I've seen them eat all sorts of grubs and insects of all types. They're just hunters, they're amazing. They bring great balance to the garden. And if you were to cut this back in the fall, you wouldn't even get a chance to have these guys in your garden. So I'm just thrilled that we have these. And I have read that, I know from, from experience, that I can cut this here and bring it into my garden, just stick it in the ground and it will be okay but you have to be on the lookout as you're cutting things back. It's so much about being a good gardener is about observing what's going on. So I'm super psyched about this. Oh, what, the reason I know that there's a lot in here is one time I thought it would be cool, like hatching a butterfly in your house, bring the cocoon in, the little, the little chrysalis and see it hatch, but there's 200 in here. So I brought it in and they hatched and there was praying mantis all over my kitchen. And it was actually kind of creepy. <laughs> they're, they're great to have in the garden, but not in your house. So, but anyway, just be on the lookout for these guys. Amazing, amazing asset to your garden. Our real, our real job here is to just support life at all levels. My job as a composter is to make sure that, that your, your soil is full of life, and then you want as many insects as possible. It's not about battling insects. It's about bringing in the balance so that they can balance themselves. There's no, there's no war here. There's just supporting all levels of life. It brings in the birds, it brings in the bats. I just read that these praying mantis, have, they can sense the bats when they send out their little sonar to find things and they have a way of camouflaging that field. How cool is that? There's just a lot going on if we take the time to stop and listen to it. So cautiously cut back your perennials this time of year. <laughs> that's all, that's my words of wisdom today. Thank you so much.